Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm so glad to have you. <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> I've been in the market for a detail knife recently, right? So I've got a detail blade coming in from Badger State. I've got a detail blade coming in from Lee Ferguson, which I'm going to talk about today and show real quick, and a detail blade coming in from a couple other places, right? I want to try some different detail blades, like one inch or smaller, to see what options I have for doing stuff. I'm getting more and more into caricature carving. And I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun making faces and whatnot. But doing that with a larger knife or a knife that's too thick is problematic at best. So I'm looking for smaller knives. And I'm running across knife makers that I didn't know about. So I thought maybe I'd show, show a little bit about it, right? And one of those is Lee Ferguson knives. I just got this package and I, I ripped it open. And I thought, man, you know what? I'm going to do a quick little video and just show you what came in the package, what this knife looks like. So you get an idea of it, especially because these knives are priced so well. It's kind of boggled my mind a bit. And I'll link, link that uh, the knives for these uh, down below so you can take a look at the doobly dude and uh, maybe see if you want to get one yourself. So let's get the camera around and we'll take a look at things and uh, we'll go from there. All right? Sounds good. All right, guys. So today I got a package from Ferguson Knives. I ordered a handmade knife off his website from Lee Ferguson Knives. For $30, a detail knife. And uh, I'm going to link it down in the description below, but I figured I'd show you what all it comes with. All knives have pre sharpened tool steel and blades and rosewood handles. And he's got pretty decent uh, prices here, but I got this $30 knife here, the A5, free shipping if you're in the continental United States. And uh, that's a very nice selection of knives. And Really good prices. Sharp edges of the custom knives. Bottom edge. Yeah. He's got a uh, little pamphlet that comes with. You can get the three inch blade. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm rambling a bit. Let's see. Uh, how's this open here? Of course, it doesn't want to open. Easy. There it comes. All righty. Oh, look at that. It's a little detail knife, very thin. I'm not gonna be using this for uh, carving big stuff, but for character faces, I think that's a gorgeous knife. I wanna play around with that a little bit. And uh, I've got a little bit of wood here. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I get accustomed to using that. But, uh, it's not going to be taking off big chunks of wood. Or if you're doing little detail work, I think this would be a, a very solid knife. I don't often see people talking about Lee Ferguson knives and I don't know why. When I saw the price and saw it was handmade, I thought uh, it'd be neat to try, but this is a really solid built knife. It's got a maker's mark. There you can see it on the tip of the blade or right there at the base of the blade. There you go. LF Lee Ferguson. Right. The thickness of the blade, it's pretty thin. So I can compare it to a Helvy I have here. And as you can see, it's a little bit thinner than the Helvy. It's definitely not thicker. And this is a Helvy rough out knife. Compared in size. Yeah. That's a nice little blade for $30. There's not a problem with that at all. So if you're looking to get a detail knife or uh, another size knife, take a look at Lee Ferguson. See what all they have. And uh, see if it might be a knife that you want to get. I mean, those Pelican knives. I've been thinking about trying a Pelican blade, but I haven't yet. I might go in for that uh, inch and a half one right there. 
give it a shot. Anyway, the R1. Yeah. Because those prices, I mean, that's just a good price. It's just, that's, that's as good as an OC, OCC Tools. And it's uh, American made. I mean, he's right here in uh, Hinesville, Arkansas. So, yeah. Lee Ferguson Knives, folks, for those of you who didn't know. Anyone that's been around for a bit, I'm certain, has known about Lee Ferguson Knives already. But uh, there's a lot of folks watching this channel that probably don't know about him. And if you want a handmade, American-made knife, Lee Ferguson Knives is an option for you. And uh, that's just a nice little detail knife. Yeah, that'll do pretty, pretty good. Look at that. Yep, <clears throat> I am a fan. Real quick, I like that. So, Lee Ferguson, check it out. Today's video is brought to you by me, namely stickers that I'm selling on my Etsy shop. This channel is going to cost a little bit of money, and I'd like to keep making videos and making better videos. If you'd like to help support that and support me in doing so, you can purchase some of these stickers off of Etsy. I've got four available. You can see on the screen now. This is my carving sticker. I make wood chips, strop yet, and do you even carve? And I like that strop yet best, I think, but it's a close second with uh, do you even carve or the carving sticker. Now, if you'd like to buy one of these, they'll be in my Etsy shop for five bucks a piece, and I'll ship them right out to you. Buy one, buy two, or don't buy any at all if you don't want to help out. Either way is fine. While you're here, though, you might as well watch one of these other videos. Ooh, look at that one. I'll bet that one's interesting. All you can do is click on it right there.